Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to mine Ravencoin using NB Miner on a Windows 10 PC. So let's get started. There's going to be a few requirements before you get started, and I want to make sure that you're aware of them. First of all, you need to have either an AMD or NVIDIA GPU for this miner. Uh, it's not compatible with Intel or other GPUs. So you wanna make sure you have at least that. Now, if you're watching this video and you're finding this to be a little bit too specific, I've also created this video and it'll work on almost any computer with a CPU or GPU. So you can check that out if you find this to be a little bit too precise. And the link will be in the description. So the first step is to open up our browser and head over to GitHub. We wanna to go to the Nubotech page which contains official releases of the miner. I'll have a direct link for this page in the description below. At the time of recording, MB Miner version 38.2 is the latest version out. If we scroll down a bit here, we can find the Windows version, which is a zip file, and we can click on it to download it. Now, Chrome might see this as an issue or a threat, so you wanna make sure that we remedy this by clicking on the Show All option on the right-hand side. Select it, and then up here at the top, we can say, keep dangerous file and then keep anyway. Miners are typically seen as a threat to the PC because of the way they operate, even though they're safe. So what you wanna do is make sure you add your miner to an exclusion list. And if you haven't already done so, you can check out this video and I'll walk you through those steps. Now we're ready to extract the files that we downloaded. So we'll go into our miner folder, right click on the zip file and say extract all and extract the files into the same folder. With the files extracted in the folder, we can just open it up by double clicking on it and inside here, we have all the files that are required to run MB Miner. So we're going to get ready to mine Ravencoin. So the batch file is right here, and this is the one that we're ready to edit. Before we edit it, we have to get our Ravencoin server information. So I'm just going to open up my browser, head over to Google, and just type in flypool.org. And here is the flypool for Ravencoin. So I'm going to put this URL in the description below, just so you have a quick shortcut to it. You can use any pool. This is the pool that I'm choosing to use for this example, but really any pool designed for Ravencoin will work with this miner. To find the server information, we just got to click on start mining and we can scroll down a bit here and it gives you all the details that you need for the server, including the server address, which is at the top and then the port that we're going to use. Uh, the username would be your Ravencoin address. This is gonna be your Ravencoin wallet address that you get from whatever crypto wallet they're using. If you don't already have a crypto wallet, you can check out these two videos to install and get your own Ravencoin wallet address. So now that we have all the information we need, we're ready to configure our miner. So we're gonna head back to our folder where everything is downloaded. We're gonna find the file for our Ravencoin batch file, right click on it, and then select edit. It's gonna open up a notepad, which is the best text editor I think to do this. Uh, I'm just gonna move things around just so we can see everything in one screen. Resize it, bring it down here. So we'll scroll down a bit here so we can see the server information. So the first thing that we're gonna do is change the server address. Uh, they have a default one already in the text file, but what we're gonna do is use the one for Flypool and we'll just highlight it and select it and then control C to copy it or just right click and copy it. And then we can paste it in here. You wanna make sure that we leave the backslashes and the, the colon for the port. We can just paste it in here. And now we've changed that part. And the second part is this port address. So we can see that it's four threes. We're gonna just delete what's already there and put in four threes. And then we have the username. It's the wallet address. So I'm gonna jump over and get my wallet from Exodus. And I'm ready to paste it in. So I'm just gonna highlight this and I'm gonna delete it. And now I'm gonna paste in my own wallet address. And the last part is default. So this is actually the name of the miner. So when you go to the dashboard of the Flypool website, you're gonna be able to identify this specific miner by its name. I'm gonna just call it Geekrar. You can put in literally any name that you want. Then you go to the file menu and save. And that's basically it. So we've configured the miner to run on Flypool and now we get to run it. And the next thing that we need to do to run it is just open up this batch file by double clicking on it. And it only takes a few seconds to get loaded. And right off the bat from the beginning, it lets you know the URL, which is the server that you're using, your username, which is your wallet, and the miner name. So it's everything that we entered in here will pop up immediately at the beginning. It's gonna start looking for a job. And now you're mining Ravencoin using MB Miner on a Windows 10 PC. 
So you're up and running and that's all there is. Uh, one thing that we can do just to validate everything that we've done is we can just log into Flivepool, put in our wallet address and see if our miner is showing up and it will give us the status of it. So I'm just going to open up my browser right now. And this is the Ravencoin homepage on flypool.org. And what we just need to do is just go up to the top here uh, in where the search option is and put in our miner address. So we have it right here, just going to paste it in and then hit enter on your keyboard. And it's automatically going to populate all the statistics for your miner. So it gives you just a brief rundown of everything that's happening, the hash rate. It lets you know what it's doing over a period of time. And if you scroll down a little bit further, you get the worker and there's ours, GeekWire is listed there. So whatever name you had called it should appear down here at the bottom. Now, if we scroll up to the top, we just click on the next tab, which is payouts. And right here, it lets you know how much you've done. I've been running this for a little bit. Uh, it looks like I've mined 14 Raven coins so far and I need nine more to hit the threshold and it'll automatically pay me out. Now, if you want to change the payout settings, you can click on the settings right here and the payment threshold can be set down to a minimum of 10 Raven coin or a maximum of 100,000. Uh, you set the boundaries of whatever you want here and then you can just save the settings. So that's all there is to it. That's how you use MB Miner on a Windows 10 PC. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. I'll add a link in the description as well for my blog that will walk you through all these steps just in case you find it easier to follow. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. If you're looking for other tips and tricks related to mining, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.